to my second episode of the Microbrew Review. My name is Colin, and I will be telling you what to drink today. Uh, today, I'm going to be drinking the Red Nectar ne uh, American Amber Ale. It's by Nectar Ales, um, another company that started out in California in 1987. This is their main beer. Uh, they have a few others, like a Hemp Ale, a Nectar IPA, and uh, something called The Buzz, which I haven't had yet. But, um, yeah, I think this has really great artwork. And I'll fold up the box for you. And another cool thing about this company, if you're into this kind of spiel, it's got 100% recycled cardboard and soy ink. So it's real environmentally friendly. I don't know how many people care, but, you know, thought I'd throw that out there. Anyway, getting started. Um, this, I thought, had a real good color to it. It has kind of like a copper amber color, and you can probably see that when I'm finished pouring. Um... Even as I'm pouring it, you can get a real good smell out of it. Um, it kind of, and this might just be me, but it reminds me of apples. I'm kind of, it's kind of fruity, um, you know. So I think that's something. But yeah, you can see it has a nice copper color, uh, real, real clear. Um, it also it doesn't smell hoppy at all. Um, it ranks 35 IBUs, so it's really not that bitter, but um, it has a little bit of hops to it a little bit of bitter taste to it. Um, another interesting thing I thought about this beer is that they use their own strain of yeast. Um, I don't know how often people do that or breweries do that, but I thought that was kind of a cool little tidbit that I found out. Um, let's see, what was I going to say? Oh, it's uh, if you're trying to get like messed up on beer, this is probably not the best thing. It's only got 5.4% alcohol, so you know, kind of like your yinglings or your natty ice, whatever you normally drink. All right. Um, but yeah, it's... It does have a, a little bit of a hoppy taste to it, but if you like IPAs or so, you might not like this beer. Um, it's not really all that sweet. It has a sweet kind of ting to it, but it also kind of has, um, kind of like if you were, kind of reminds me of if you were to smell flowers more as opposed to smelling fruit or anything like that, anything sweet. Um, however, with that said, if you were to gonna, if you were gonna have uh, snacks with this, I would probably suggest having maybe, um, maybe even fruit with it. Uh, apple. I, I get a real apple sense from this beer. So, again, that's just me, but that's a suggestion. Uh, if you're gonna be having dinner with this, though, I would probably suggest something like fish, maybe like salmon with some lemon. Um, maybe even, maybe chicken. I don't know. Up to you. Uh, but yeah, those would probably be my food recommendations. So, um, altogether, it's priced about, I want to say $8.99, so with taxes, depending on where you live, what they're going to charge you, you're going to spend around 9 bucks, which I think is a very fair price. Um, I'm going to rank this about 8 pints out of 10. So, real good rating. Maybe I'll uh, review one of their other beers later on. Uh, I know their hemp, their, uh, yeah, their hemp ale is a pretty good seller. Probably because it has a big marijuana leaf, well, hemp leaf on it. Sorry, I got hiccups. I'm sorry about that. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, the eight people who watch it, or the nine, ten people who are watching it. Um, feel free to subscribe, leave questions, comments, suggestions, offensive remarks about how I'm not actually 21, even though I'm 23, whatever you feel like doing. And uh, everybody have a good week, enjoy your weekend, and I should be back in a few more days. All right.